This is a collection of photographs that were donated to the museum by a photographer by the name of Eileen Graham. Uh, they were made in the north coast of Jamaica in a place called Discovery Bay in the 1960s. I haven't been there for a few years, but the last time I had the opportunity to swim across these reefs, it was mostly covered with dead coral rubble because the reefs were hit by a hurricane which smashed all the corals to pieces and they failed to recover. Hurricanes hadn't happened in Jamaica for a few decades, and so the corals had had a chance to grow up as big thickets of branching corals. And after the hurricane came and it broke it down, the algae were able to take over because there were a few fish and other grazing animals around that were able to eat the algae. And algae is able to grow more quickly than corals, and so instead of a coral reef, we have a series of algal turfs. One of the interesting things about these pictures is there seems to be very few fish shown on them. If the fish had been in Jamaica in the 1960s, you'd see them in these photographs. People have been fishing for, for many centuries. They've caught fish, especially the herbivorous fish, that are able to eat algae. We're working on methods to extract scientific data from the pictures, for example, the cover of the coral, the number of fish and the size of the fish, any areas of coral that seem to have diseases or have been impacted by fish biting the corals. We're going to use this scientific data to compare it with more recent survey data. We'd like to continue to collect historical photographs from anywhere in the world to build up a special archive of slides and negatives that we can scan in and make available to other researchers and the general public.